Hi everyone, this is Jinoi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about one of the most crucial yet under discussed features for Spring Boot developers, that is auto reload in IntelliJ. If you are a Spring Boot developer, you know how annoying it can be to restart your application every time you make a code change. Well, I have got some tips and tricks to help you automate this process. So let's get started. So why is auto reload important? In a development workflow, it's all about efficiency. You want to see your changes in real time without restarting the application constantly. IntelliJ IDEA has some great features to help with this, but you need to configure them correctly. Don't worry, I will show you how to do that. First of all, let's try to run our Spring Boot application manually by clicking on the play button. Now go to your browser and search for localhost port 8080. And here you can see our application is running successfully and printing hello world. Now we are going to auto reload the server by using dev tools. For that first change the content of the website. So let's make this as 3. And if you reload also, the same thing will be there since we have not reloaded our server. For adding auto reload to the server, just go to pom.xml and copy paste some of the lines. And change this as dev tools. And save this. Now go to preferences, on settings go to advanced settings and check this one that is first option on the compiler and apply and click on ok to apply this. Now just reload our server for the first time. Okay, the server is loaded successfully. Now let's go to the Chrome browser and check our change. Now it is uh, Hello World 3. Again, we are going to change the content of the website to Hello World and save this. When you save the website or the code, it will automatically reload the server now. Now try something else and save again. See as you can see the server is restarting automatically. That's it for today's video on auto reload with Spring Boot and IntelliJ. I hope you found these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these techniques or if you use another techniques for faster Spring Boot development. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more contents like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.